This is the My Pillow Travel. That's today's review, so let's get right to it. Now I'm sitting here in a hotel, the Monte Carlo in Las Vegas, Nevada. Now you might wonder why someone who lives in Las Vegas would be in a hotel in Las Vegas. Well, that's something that Las Vegas locals do when you have friends in town who are going to be out partying late. I'm staying at the Monte Carlo so I can hang out with my friends all night tonight. We're going to be on a pub crawl party bus and I might have some scenes from that later on. But I brought the MyPillow Travel with me because the MyPillow Travel is for travel and for use in hotels. So how lucky am I to have that along with me for this review? So I already unboxed the MyPillow Travel. There really isn't much to it. On the box, it's called the MyPillow Travel, but here it says the MyPillow Roll and Go. So uh, I guess you can call it either one of those. There aren't many instructions to it. All They have a picture on this side and then the instructions for wash on the other side, and that's about it. It doesn't really say how you're supposed to use it, but apparently you're supposed to roll it into this pouch right here, or you can use it by itself. So I'm gonna do some tests here, then I'm gonna head out, and then I'm gonna do the rest of my tests tonight and tomorrow morning, and then back at home for some final tests. So let's see how the MyPillow Travel, AKA the MyPillow Roll and Go works at this hotel. One thing they say you can do is to use it on top of your pillow, get rid of that, to get the My Pillow experience anywhere you go. But uh, yeah, I don't know about that. See, the pillow here is actually pretty soft. So, in fact, I like softer pillows. I don't like hard, thick pillows. This is probably one of the best hotel pillows I've felt in a while because it's actually kind of soft. Um, the original My Pillow, I complained about it being kind of lumpy. I do feel that it's a little bit lumpy, as you can kind of kind of see there. Some people don't mind that, so that's certainly not a problem for those people. If this were the thicker hotel pillows, I can't imagine now adding anything on top of that would be beneficial. However, because these are soft, I can see how if you like my pillow, that this would actually be beneficial to you because it does have a different feel than the pillow underneath it. So for that case, it's pretty good. I like a really thin pillow. So I actually might use this by itself. I know that looks ridiculous, looks like something for a little kid, but that's more along the lines of what I would use at home anyways. Okay, see, see that's, that's actually more my style even over the original MyPillow because my head isn't like this. Some people don't mind that, some people like it. Some people put their shoulders up on the pillow so it doesn't do that. That's just how I have been sleeping on the pillows my whole life. I don't think I'm gonna change at this point. But really, this is actually not too bad. Um, the lumpiness, maybe because I'm bald, I feel it more. I do feel it a little bit but it's not terrible. I'm just trying to figure out which one I like better because this is nice, a nice height for me, but this actually isn't bad either. These almost feel like down, they're, I don't know they're not, but they almost feel like down pillows. I could use either one, but I probably wouldn't put one pillow on top of the other because I don't like the thickness. I can see if I was in a hotel and they had those really thick and comfortable pillows, I would definitely pick this over those. So that's certainly um, a valid option, I think. Especially because I, mean, I think most hotels have uncomfortable pillows for my taste. Something else you're supposed to be able to do is roll it up into itself. Now there were, really no, were no instructions except for just these photos right here. But I mean, obviously you're supposed to tuck it in to this pouch. Okay. So that, there we have that. This they say could be used um, for back support when you're sitting on a couch or maybe as a cushion on an airplane or something like that. So this is another way of using the MyPillow roll and go. I'm wearing glasses because I only slept a couple hours last night. That was a crazy night, man, on that party bus. We went to so many different places and it got kind of wild. Heading home, it's early in the morning. I, I just decided to go home rather than try to get some sleep. So I'm gonna go back to my house, rest up, and then keep going. Last night was crazy. This is the MyPillow Classic. I know there's a premium that you can get online. There's different color coatings. This is the MyPillow Classic sold in stores on displays. This is the MyPillow Travel, also known as the MyPillow Roll and Go. I'm not a big fan of thick pillows, so I wasn't really 
that convinced that the MyPillow was for me. I know they have a thinner version out there, but the MyPillow Classic is the one I'm referring to. Now the MyPillow Travel, even though it's supposed to be a travel pillow, I prefer it even on my own bed over the MyPillow because I like small thin pillows. The only thing that I don't like about it, which is easy to remedy, is if you listen to this, I'm a little bit OCD about a loud pillow case. You know, like the certain materials that that are louder than others. But I've just taken it out of the pillowcase the second night I slept with it with just the my pillow travel by itself. And it's not, it's crinkly, so I just slept on it like this and I thought it was fine. So in my preference, I would take the my pillow travel over the regular my pillow even on a daily basis at home. I'm not the only one who feels that way because if you look on the three sponsored posts from my pillow on Amazon, the my pillow premium, the my pillow classic, and the my pillow travel. The MyPillow Premium has about a 3.5 star rating. The MyPillow Classic has about a 3.6. And the MyPillow Travel has over a four star rating. So I'm not alone in that assessment that the MyPillow Travel may be better than the original. So the couple of nights that I've slept on this, I've actually preferred it over the MyPillow. I'm not sure I prefer it over my regular pillow, but I also don't know if I prefer my regular pillow over this. I think it's kind of on par with what I like, a small pillow that's thin and kind of soft. What I like about it is that it can roll up into a completely different shape and be used for other functions like in the car or at your desk. And I've also used it for those experiences as well. So check this out. All right, so for my next demonstration of the My Pillow Travel, I've actually got to run across town and pick up something uh, at a Kmart. It's the only one that I can find in town. So I'm, it's about a 25 minute drive each way. It means I'm gonna be in the car for at least an hour. So I have the MyPillow Travel down here. See that? It's right there. There it is. They say that you can use it for back support while traveling like in the car or the airplane. And sometimes when I drive for a while, my back does hurt. By the way, I'm wearing tack glasses. I continue to use my products after I review them, so I'm continuing to use tack glasses. Anyways, so I got the MyPillow Travel um, underneath the arch of my back. Uh, I'm going to be using it for the next hour of driving and I'll see if that helps. Right now it just kind of feels like any other cushion, but um, after an hour maybe it'll make a difference. All right, so here I am at Kmart. Not my favorite store and definitely not my favorite area of town, but there's something in there that I got to pick up. I use the my pillow travel all the way here. I can't say that it's any different than those those round back pillows I've used in the past, but I'm going to keep using it and I'll let you know how it goes. And there it is. That was sitting on that. Well, it was up against my back like that most of the way here. And I'll try on the way home too. I was originally going to post this review on October 2nd, but in light of the tragedy here in Las Vegas last night, I decided to wait an extra day until the dust kind of clears a little bit. But I do want to say a couple of things if I can stand on my soapbox for just a minute here. Now, last night, it was a horrible, senseless tragedy where dozens were killed and hundreds were injured needlessly. There was no point. And even when we find out the motive, it still won't matter because what happened has already happened. But if there's anything positive that can be gleaned from what happened last night, it's the response by those who tried to help. From the police officers, the other concert goers, the doctors, nurses, paramedics, Uber taxi and Lyft drivers who rushed people from the scene, people who stood in line for hours to donate blood, people who donated to GoFundMe accounts, those who have sent in prayers and thoughts from around the world. It shows me that humanity isn't as all bad as the nightly news wants us to believe. In fact, people can be compassionate and they can be courageous and they can sacrifice. So the communities across our country may not be as bad as the news wants us to believe. And I'm grateful for that. And I'm very grateful for those who sacrificed and risked their lives to help others that were in need and in danger. Now with that said, I'm gonna get back off of my soapbox and move on to the much less important my pillow travel. Now I've had a couple of extra days to use this, and I will say that I prefer this over the regular my pillow because I prefer small, thin pillows and the fact that it can be converted to a different shape to be used in other places like as a back support. The only thing I don't really like about it is this kind of loud case. That's just kind of my own preference. Most people probably won't have a problem with that. I just sleep with the case off. I've slept with this several nights now and I haven't had any neck problems. It's been comfortable to me. The original my pillow I found to be kind of lumpy. This is lumpy, but because it's so thin, I don't think that it's really that much of a problem. If you like MyPillow and you like to travel, this is also another option. You can put it on top of your 
pillow at the hotel and get that kind of my pillow sensation. So to me, I think it's a better product. As I stated earlier, the Amazon reviews give this a higher rating than the other two pillows that are sponsored there. Do I think it's worth the $25 that I paid for it? Probably not. It feels to me like about a $10 product. But since I have it, I'm going to keep using it. Have you used the MyPillow Travel or something like it? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And please subscribe for more As Seen on TV product reviews from me, James White, with Freakin' Reviews.